Tobago must play its role in turning the national economy around. Money is now available to build Scarborough RFC School, and the state boards now have THA representation. Info Update, bringing you the latest news, views, and, and reviews, reviews, along with responses, comments, and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. The Tobago House of Assembly is happy with its budgetary allocation this year, but the Chief Secretary of London is warning there's only so much that can be done because of the economic situation facing the country. Even though the island received more than the legal minimum, Mr. London says the country's limited resources means it cannot be business as usual. He said the Assembly has to be mature and sensitive that everything at once cannot be done over the next few years given. Regardless of what has transpired or what transpired on Monday, and regardless of what we received or did not receive, this is going to be a challenging period. And our capacity to, not only to survive, but our capacity to weather the storm and to change the turn around the economy and to really get back on a growth path is not going to depend primarily on what comes out of the central government or what comes out of the Tobago House of Assembly. The finance minister said the last government's account at the central bank was in overdraft, which basically means there was a deficit. He put some of the blame on what he described as the people's partnerships in ordinate haste to ramp up expenditure in the last quarter of the fiscal year. Both him and the Prime Minister have signaled that there will be some belt tightening going forward. The Chief Secretary says every Tobagonian can contribute to the turnaround of the economy. As residents of Tobago, we've got to join our brothers and sisters in Trinidad in ensuring that we display the level of resilience and the fortitude and, of course, the self-reliance that would be necessary for us to survive this very difficult period. Mr. London says he's confident that Tobago has the capacity and Tobagonians in particular have the right attitude to get through this difficult economic period. I'm Caroline Wallace for Info Update. But there's good news. Mr. London announced that parents and students of Scarborough RC Primary School will get their wish. The allocation this year is $15 million, which is enough for us to uh, start the tendering and the procurement processes and hopefully break ground before the end of this fiscal year. And that, of course, is something that does bring a lot of relief to us. The Scarborough Roman Catholic Primary School has been housed uptown Scarborough, but conditions at the school continued to worsen. The THA promised to construct a new school in Smithfield, Lower Scarborough, but up until now has been hamstrung by funding. Tobago now has representation on a number of state boards. Omodara Mills tells us more. The Chief Secretary has been clamoring for THA representation on state boards for the past five years. Well, this is no longer a wish. A few have already been appointed. He says so far every recommendation put forward by the THA has been accepted by the board's committee and the cabinet. We consider this to be critical. There are a number of boards, and we've said this consistently for the past five years, whose decisions impact significantly on Tobago. And it means that if the Tobago input is not made available to the decision makers on those boards, a lot of the time the decisions that they make are either not relevant to Tobago or not, are not effective in treating with the issues that are of importance to Tobago. Mr. London says that no one should underestimate the importance of these board appointments. So no longer can we complain about not having representation on boards like WASA and the Airport Authority and the Port Authority and uh, the National Carnival Commission and all of those boards are on, on which we think our representation is critical. We expect that that uh, process will continue and not only will, be, will there be Tobago representation but THE representation. No THA representatives sat on state boards over the last five years, something the Chief Secretary complained about. He said this negatively affected Tobagonians because some decisions taken by state agencies never factored in this island's perspective. I'm Omudara Mills for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Davia Chambers and you've been listening to Info Update. Thank you.